Okay, folks, so as you probably already guessed, today is going to be a silver video. It's going to be a short one, short but sweet. Got some really good news. So I don't know when it was. I have to estimate it was um, maybe towards uh, the end of 2019, maybe November, December. I made a prediction but that said these exact words. By the end of the first quarter, we'll probably see... Uh, the rise of silver. Um, so we're beginning to see those stair steps, and I'll explain what I mean. So for you folks who have any silver, whether it be one lousy ounce or a thousand ounces, you've probably seen a gain in the value of the metals that you're holding. And hopefully you are holding them in your home, in your safe, not in some kind of um, bank deposit, deposit box or something like that. So just today, what is, what, what's the time today? right now it is 426 today tucson arizona time 426 the price of silver is 18.70 cents an ounce that's pretty good that is really good um i don't want everybody to get a little crazy now because as we know it's silver there's always dips now personally i hope there is another dip it's going to be good for you and me whether you what do you think so or not most of us are in what phase we're in acquisitions we're we're acquiring silver and while it i'm sure it must be nice to see silver take a little bump upwards it's not really good for acquiring is it so we actually really need it to go down for you folks that are close to your retirement age and you're looking to, to cash in yeah, I'm hoping uh, it, it'll go up even higher for your sake. But silver, it takes a lot of stair steps. It'll, it'll go up, downwards. Up again, slightly higher, downwards. Up again, even higher, downwards. And that's what I mean, the stair step. Almost like going up a, a flight of stairs. We are going to see some dips. But I got a feeling, um, first of all, this is really refreshing. Remember when, when it was stuck right around, what, a year? A year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. It, it seemed to be stuck at mid-14s forever. And it would fluctuate 14, 35. And then one day or two days later, 14, it would go up a, a lousy nickel. And it would just basically hover right around the 1430 range or the 1450 range. And... It was stagnant. I, I I admit it was stagnant. Good time to buy though. <clears throat> but when something that's is stagnant that long, you begin to question yourself if it's gonna be that way forever. And it, it's not, folks. It really isn't. Um I think we're gonna see some more gains. Uh obviously, don't get crazy, uh don't get uh jubilee, don't have a party or anything, because I think we are gonna see a little bit of of a pullback but I do believe we're gonna see some additional gains above this 1870 I have no doubt about it and uh, I'll say it again uh, I'll make another prediction so my first prediction again was that silver would be on the rise by the end of the first quarter of 2020 well the end of the first quarter technically is the end of what March I'm willing to go out on the limb here and say we're gonna see even higher, even higher by June, by the end of the second quarter. I have no doubt about it. I don't like to predict things because it makes you look bad, but I just got this feeling. You know, I just got this feeling the way things are going. Um, and I have no doubt that the coronavirus has taken its toll on the on the stock market, which is pushing what up? It's pushing gold and silver up. It's pushing the crypto market up. And it's it's good, I guess, to see this, um, especially if you're trading, if you're a trader, if you're a trader of silver, not a stacker, a trader. You're a day trader, let's say, the crypto market. You, 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 uh, you trade on your highs and purchase on your dips. We've got a lot of traders out there. This kind of market is good for you. Anyway, I just want to let you know, keep stacking. Um, I, I'll tell you something. Um, the most expensive 
I've ever purchased silver. I'm trying to think now. It was $40 an ounce. I think I purchased my first, actually my first, I don't know, 40 ounces. I think I, they were all purchased at $40 an ounce. I'm here to tell you if prices of silver went up $40 an ounce, I still would purchase. Because to me, $40 an ounce is, is worth it considering where I believe silver is really going to go up to. It, it truly is. And when silver gets up there, you're going to wish that the prices were that low again. Anyway, folks, this is good news. I like to see some movement. I like to, even if it drops, I, I, I'm, I get tired of seeing a market uh, that is stagnant. Uh, it's not good for the motivation, but this is excellent for the motivation it tells you when it takes a dip this is this is the end all this kind of news tells you when it takes a dip i'm going to purchase again because the opportunity and the chances that it'll go up to 1870 again are pretty good i'm going to take that risk so this is good movement is good um i like it and uh thank you so much for tuning in uh, one last thing, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, click the little bell icon that's next to the subscribe button. It'll let you know every time I pop out a video. And as always, try to leave a comment. I do attempt to leave a, a, a response to each and every comment, though. Um, take care of yourselves. See, short video. Six, uh, I'm going to run it out to seven minutes. <laughs> I'm kidding. You take care.